channel that is called okay i forgot the name sorry i am sorry spin selection rule another orbital selection rule and orbital selection rule is called oh okay i am not i can't unable to remember right now you can't skip those things whichever i have told you whichever name whichever words i have used to, to explain all those things you should not skip anything okay hey guys i am gautam and welcome to gchemics in this video i am going to talk about the most important topics from inorganic chemistry that in the uh, previous videos i have already discussed about the physical and organic chemistry so in this video i am going to talk about the inorganic chemistry so to to check the previous videos just click on the i button and you will get this link in my previous video section and also at the last of this video so uh, from inorganic chemistry there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 eight chapters okay so the in between in uh, these eight chapters the seven chapters are very very important and the eight chapters that is instrumental methods of analysis this is not that much important okay so if you are uh, uh, thinking about skipping any chapters then you can you can easily skip the chapter so now uh, uh, before I start, I just want to tell you, if you are preparing for IIT Jam Chemistry Examination, then you can get awesome study material from me that I have already made and I have already shared with a lot of students okay, and they are preparing for IIT Jam Examination and the, as in the previous videos, uh, the, in the Physical and Chemistry uh, important topic videos and the uh, 4 month strategy videos, I have already discussed that how can you prepare for IIT Jam Examination in uh, these 4 months, okay, from the beginning, okay, if you, you do have some kind of basic knowledge, okay about chemistry of course chemistry and the uh, graduation basic things like that though so you can easily uh, complete the whole syllabus okay within this four months i can you can easily crack the exam so whatever uh, that i have already told you that if you want then you can uh, call me uh, on this number okay and you can get everything in the description below also so whatever let's talk about the inorganic chemistry most important topics so the first part about inorganic chemistry that is about periodic table so the, there are two parts one is periodic classification of elements and periodicity in properties another part is general method of isolation and purification of elements i will suggest you that no, you should not read the general method of isolation and purification of element that is the extraction process that is not important okay i have not seen any questions or generally five percent of uh, all the in all the examination one or two percent the exam i have seen that that questions are coming from these topics so you can skip this topic okay because it will be time consuming and you cannot remember everything about the isolation process so you have to just read only the period periodicity and properties that is different kind of electronegativity then the different kind of type that means okay power electronegativity or local electronegativity then another is molecular electronegativity okay this kind of electronegativity that you should read and another thing is other properties like oxidation states then melting points boiling points how they are changing along the group along the period okay so that you should take care of and another uh, most important thing is uh, of course you know the z star that is z effective that is effective nuclear charge calculation that i have already discussed in my periodic table uh, uh, notes okay so just do read all those things then coming to chemical bonding okay just uh, do verify yourself that you uh, whether you know these all these topics which are i am telling that, that these are most important okay just do verify yourself that the, you, these topics you know already know if you don't know then you can start your preparation from now and you can clear you should clear all these concepts okay then coming to uh, chemical bonding and shapes of molecules so from here bacbr theory theory hybridization that is vbt theory this two theory is very very important and the question generally coming come from the structure determination okay so different different kind of structures and their uh, bacbr theory vbt theory okay how can uh, structure can be determined by i will but i will suggest you to uh, use the vbt theory as they are asking bacbr theory but to uh, to elucidate uh, elucidate the structure from the vbt theory okay that i have already give some kind of examples in my sections and also give uh, you some kind of homework okay in my videos so in my notes okay so that you can practice okay and you will get the idea how can you uh, get the how structure and shapes okay remember these two structure and shapes difference between structure and uh, shape shapes structure means you have to uh, the structure with lone pairs shape means the structure without lone pairs remember this to the difference okay so in exam generally they ask shape okay so don't uh, mix with the shape with structure okay so then coming to hybridization that is already told you hybridization means sp3 sp3 different kind of hybridization and the corresponding angle corresponding structure okay uh, depending upon the hybridization so that is the vbt theory important okay 
So then dipole moment. So how to calculate dipole moment? Different kind of different units dipole moment. Then how to calculate the ionic character from type observed and experimental dipole moments? That a lot of problems generally come from there. So I have already discussed those problems in my notes. Then coming to ionic solids. Ionic solids. That means some kind of structure that is of course uh, NaCl structure. Then CaCl, diamond graphite. The four structures are generally important because and their structures, their hybridization, then their unit cells, what they looks like. Okay then uh, their packing efficiency like that okay so these kind of things are very very important then coming to lattice energy lattice energy means uh, of course uh, the lattice energy then determination of lattice energy that is i have already discussed in physical chemistry i have defined lattice energy in the inorganic chemistry also by but the uh, determination of lattice energy that is bond over cycle and bond length equation these two i have discussed in the uh, physical chemistry solid solid state chapter okay so read the uh, the lattice energy part from the physical chemistry chapter also then coming to S and P block elements. So from S and P block elements, two parts are important. That is the gradation in properties. That is in the group how or in the period how the different kind of that is oxides, hydroxides, then uh, their melting points. Okay, their basic character, acidic character. This how they are changing. Okay, that I am sharing with you. And these kind of things are important. Okay. And then another thing is structure of electron deficient compounds involving main group elements. That is the uh, boron aluminium gallium series. Okay, boron aluminium gallium. So questions generally come from boron and aluminium part. Okay, so diboron system, B two A six system, Al Cl three system, or Al R three system like that. Okay, how uh, what are their structures? Okay, and how can you determine all those things? Okay, so the structure determination and different kind of borons, nido borons, arachnido borons. Okay, this kind of borons. Okay, you have to read. Okay, that I will share with you. Okay, in the my S and P block elements. So these kind of things are important. So from S block elements, you have to write uh, S and P block elements. You have to read all those oxide, hydroxide, their gradation and properties. Okay, the basic character, acidic character, like that things. Uh, then uh, then another thing is the boron and aluminum system that you should uh, you have to read very carefully because question uh, one or two questions generally come from this section boron and aluminum series. Okay, so boron and aluminum compounds. So then coming to D block elements that is very important the most important and most tough chapter I will say uh, tough chapter in the sense that this is quite new okay so that's why it's I am telling it's a but it's not so basically the hydroxide oxide salts that is not that much important but the Warner theory or Warner theory whatever you would say then the coordination complexes their structures their isomerism uh, number of optical isomers number of geometrical isomers okay how can you get all those structures okay so this kind of things are very very important then electronic and magnetic spectra sorry electronic spectra that is of course uh, like uh, organ diagram okay organ diagram for p1 to d9 system okay except d5 so this kind of systems okay and from there how can you assign the different kind of transition okay the number of total number of transitions how can you get that get those transitions okay so this kind of things that is very very important so then the most important part is about the uh, color structure and magnetic properties magnetic properties means the orbital here from here or the how can you determine the determine the magnetic magnetic character that is of course magnetic susceptibility then paramagnetic what is paramagnetic substance diamagnetic substance ferromagnetic ferromagnetic substance those are a little bit important but the most important thing is uh, orbital contribution and without orbital contribution how can you determine the mu spin only value or mu total mu value okay mu means magnetic moment value so how can you calculate all those things so that's done in this section then coming to another part that is about the uh, you know uh, let me check okay color color means of course uh, the uh, organ diagram okay you have to take care of then okay then is, uh, remember the uh, orbital okay spin selection rule and uh, of course another selection rule that is orbital selection so whatever let's talk about uh, let's go further so then coming to organometric compounds so from organometric compounds you have to okay you have to understand only metal carbons metal carbonyls carbons metal carbons nitrosyls and metallocyls these three four systems are important their MO diagram and the interaction between the system then uh, co stretching frequency in the uh, molecules okay in the compounds like metal and metal carbonic compounds okay co stretching frequency is very very important okay and the uh, these four systems metal carbonyls carbons nitrosyls and metallocyls these only uh, these are important okay and then last coming to homogeneous catalyst so different kind of homogeneous catalysts are there so uh, you have to read all those homogeneous catalysts and then question reaction only not in de great detail okay not in different catalytic loop not the, those are not important but just important thing is what are the uh, catalyst and the corresponding reactant product okay how uh, they are uh, what are the reactants and what, what will be the products when we react with that uh, homogeneous catalyst okay 
so then coming to bioinorganic chemistry so this is also another important chapter because this is also new to you because essential and trace elements of life that the number of okay of course you have to find that okay element which elements are essential which are trace and why they are essentials this kind of things but not that much important but other systems like uh, basic reactions in biological systems and the role of metal ions especially fe2 plus fe3 plus cu2 plus and zn2 plus so fe2 plus t plus that means of course hemoglobin myoglobin system then uh, ferrodoxin system and uh, of course a cu2 plus zn2 plus system is cu2 plus that means blue uh, of course the hemocyanin and zn2 plus means hydrogen uh, carbonic anhydrous system so these four system hemoglobin myoglobin you have to read in great detail okay and hemocyanin then blue copper protein what is blue copper protein everything i have discussed in my notes okay biodynamic chemistry notes so you can find all those things then uh, in the latter section they have already uh, already uh, told you the fe2 plus fe3 plus system that implies the already the hemoglobin and myoglobin system but in the latter section they already they again tell you that uh, structure and function of hemoglobin and myoglobin so remember the hemoglobin and myoglobin part are very very important okay so then last carbonic anhydrous so you will find one question generally in every year more or less one question from carbonic anhydrous okay the which molecule which metal ions are uh, participate or what happens in the carbonic anhydrous reaction so this is a one page notes okay one page things but if you read the things you will get two marks or one marks okay that's quite amazing next coming to in instrumental methods methods of analysis that is about the basic principles okay then uh, there are two sections first is conductometry potentiometry you as well spectrophotometry these are important these are good but analysis of water and air soil samples that those are not important okay so just read what is conductometric titration what is conductometry potentiometry titrations potentiometry and if visible uh if visible spectrophotometry how they works and how what are the corresponding plots that are important nothing else last is analytical chemistry so analytical analytical chemistry contains a lot of things likely to be principal and uh, qualitative and quantitative analysis that means the the whatever you have done in your third year or second year uh, qualitative and quantitative analysis the titrations and the different kind of metal ion determination that is uh, calcium magnesium calcium then other iron then uh, of course the cobalt this kind of things this kind of metal ions how can you determine okay that is qualitative analysis and quantitative analysis means the different kind of titrations okay the corresponding okay uh, indicator like that things okay then oxidation and reduction things acid base so acid base means different kind of systems like uh, different kind of definition rna's definition constant lowry definition then uh, of course other definition like uh, Lewis concept or okay, what are these things that is important but oxy from oxidation and reduction part you have to read only the uh, different kind of complex reactions that is of course complementary non-complementary reaction then uh, the one important thing is latimer and frost diagram okay and they are comproportionation and disproportionation so that topic is very important comproportionation and dis disproportionation which will comproportionate which will disproportionate you have to find okay how can you find that all those things okay that are those are important then complex metric traditions using edta that is of course edta how what are the uh, metal ions and how the system work uh, works generally okay or the, how the what will be the structure of the system okay then precipitation reaction okay just basic things then use of indicators okay different kind of indicators that oxidation reduction indicators uh, general indicators okay you have to uh, take care of all those things then use of organic reagents and inorganic analysis that is of course organic reagents that is dmg in nickel system that is red color complex okay these kind of things you have to take care of but on another important thing is radioactivity that is nuclear chemistry so nuclear chemistry you have to read uh, and the numericals in general the numericals you can solve from nuclear chemistry part and another thing is okay the magic numbers like things then uh, the okay mass defect okay and from there how can you calculate the mass defect and how can you calculate the bind nuclear binding energy okay this kind of things this is those are very important in the from the nuclear chemistry and another thing is another important topic is uh, uh, from nuclear chemistry is suppose a, a complex a nuclide are there so from here one beta particle will uh, okay will come out and what will be the product okay what will be the uh, another nuclide okay that you can how to calculate all those things okay then what two alpha particle uh, removes and what will be the nuclide forms okay so these kind of things are important from the nuclear chemistry part so that's all about the uh, i have i have already given you the brief introduction about the inorganic chemistry which topics are very very important okay because you know that uh, you can understand you can now you will just need the uh, okay strategy and what topics you should not miss okay because whatever topic i have told you that's the most important violent topic for the iit jam examination so you can skip other topics other things little bit but you can't skip 
those things whichever i have told you whichever name whichever words i have used to, to explain all those things you should not skip anything okay because you will find questions from this section okay uh, at and it's 100 percent okay i can uh, give you the tech that uh, you will get questions from this part at least 80 percent 90 percent questions okay other 10 percent questions it's iit jam so they will ask it from anywhere okay so that's all about the inorganic chemistry part so thank you thanks for watching